Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I made a slight mistake because I'm now post-commentary doing this, but that's okay. It's just gonna be for half of this episode. Starting off, this is obviously a Korok. I say that a lot of the time, but this is actually, actually a Korok. So let me just grab that right there. I found him. This is very different, but... I guess I didn't really have much choice. I, I really needed to do it post-commentary, so... I didn't have any choice. I also tried to, like, fight the that outpost thing there. But then, just, it got way too complicated very quickly. Just, I don't want to deal with anything extra. I just want to shoot at enemies from, like, five... No. Probably more like... 8 or 12? 10 or 12 meters away, I don't know. Measurements are hard, I can't judge distance very well. Actually, that's a thing, not even just distance. Like, any kind of measurements, I just can't guess it very well. But it looked like it was going to be a storm. So I guess I'll change, I changed my gears so I wouldn't get zapped by lightning. But I don't think that, that it ever got to a thunderstorm anyway. Also, this part of the map is just very out of the way. So, if there are any Korok seeds over here that I miss, it's just, it's just gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna miss them and probably not gonna know it for ages and then have to come back way later and try to make sure I get them all. But there is one over here in this tree, because there's a, there's a rock in that tree, the middle tree over here. So let's go ahead and grab that one. Go me, you can do it, I believe in you. And then just hold on this text screen for like half of a second. Just checking the map to see where in the world this is so I can mark it off. And I'm sad that that rock didn't hit that keys just then. That would have been great. I don't know if you can actually attack monsters by throwing rocks at them. You probably can. You can... You can pretty much do that with anything else, so I don't know why it wouldn't work like that. But anyway, further up the path here, we should be able to hear something. Just a little bit of something. And there's a black Hinox there. We've already taken a picture of it, but I have to check every single time just to make sure. <laughs> And this, this water here, I thought it was just going to be like the spring water which would heal you on the other side of Death Mountain. But for some reason it isn't, which is really surprising because it looks like it should be. It might just be that it's not deep enough, that so you can't heal it, but... Anyway. Now to take out this Black Hinox. So I'm going to use six bomb arrows apparently by using triple bomb arrow shots with my two bomb arrows. I'm also going to use Revali, no, what's it called? Obosa's Fury to try and take it down most of its health. I also shot it in its eye with the bomber, so that's pretty good. I don't think the second shot did, but it did fair amount of damage. And then it's not got much health left, so it didn't take much to just stab it with spears to finish it off. I'm pretty sure I said goodbye to both of those spears anyway at some point. Also got a royal broadsword. The Hylian royal family would award this sword to knights who achieved remarkable feats. A sword that balances strength and beauty as elegantly as this one is a rare find. I still think I, that text at the bottom there makes no sense in my brain for some reason. But that's fine. We've got that now. And we've also need to take a picture of it. But now I actually have to throw something out, so... One of my spears, I believe, is gonna go. Probably the the electric one. If I can actually decide. There's just so many good weapons that I have at this point. Like, most of them are like, low damage, but some of them are 30, uh, 30 attack and up. Which is pretty, pretty good. They also have extra effects on some of them. 
But I just don't have enough space, and I need so many more Korok seeds to be able to get more space. And that's quite, quite difficult at the moment, so... But anyway, moving on. There's a giant tower thing in front of us. If I don't get dis distracted by Sunshroom. And climbing a random tree which has nothing in it. But this place looks very Goron-esque. Which I like. And now, let's see where we are. It's ready. I'm ready. Welcome to Gut Check Rock. Do you have what it takes? Let's find out. And, oh boy. I... I... I think I have what it takes. You know, I'm just so good that I can... Yeah. But we'll, we'll, we'll look at that in a second. So, first off... Let's head to the very top, where there is a shrine, and also there's rocks and those pillar things around it, but this one that I'm right next to is uh, slightly lower down than the rest, but I didn't realize that at first, so I threw it off and I, yeah, I have to get that later, I guess, at least once I reload, so the shrine here will make that easy enough. Let's actually get in there. This is just me realizing my mistake, so. Gonna mark this Korok just to make sure I don't forget. Show me your power. Pump it up, brother. By the gods, I love me some muscle right here is our hardcore training ground, String Bean. This is where we come to get ripped and shredded. It's where Goron boys become Goron men, brother. Right, I'm leaving now. Goodbye. But... Brutal! Brutally rude, Tiny Hylian. This, is sac this sacred platform is only for true Goron men, as decided by the Goron blood brothers. So shove off, non-brother. If you want respect, you gotta train hard to earn it. So we can't actually get into this shrine without actually doing whatever he wants. And I tried to go around it to try and see if I could, could but nope, they... This was, this was actually tested. Also, I had trouble climbing up this rock for some reason because I thought I was, like, in a little crevice thing, I don't know. I thought I was underneath part of the rock, so it didn't allow me in. I even tried gliding onto it and it just didn't work. So we are actually going to have to do the gut check challenge for them. Pump it up, brother. By the gods, allow me a muscle right here. Shredded, ripped and shredded. Um, please move. I ain't moving a muscle, brother. Not a single well-defined muscle. This is a special platform, sacred even. Only real Goron men, as decided by us, three Goron blood brothers, are allowed. Besides, my little bro is in the middle of training right now. A brother does not interrupt a brother's training, brother. But I gotta say, you do seem like a real man of action, almost like you have a Goron air about you. I like it. So what are you waiting for, brother? Get training! Yeah, that's it. If you can clear our hardcore training program, I'll move out of your way. Count me in, brother. Ha, huh, good answer, brother. We're gonna shred you to pieces, little man. Prepare your tiny self. Okay, let me explain how this hardcore training works. The rules are dead simple. Simple as deadlift, brother. I'm glad I'm gonna be ripped to shred and... De the rules are dead simple. Starting from the bottom, you gotta climb back up here without within the time limit. But don't fool yourself into thinking it's only a climbing challenge, little man. You gotta pick up rupees as you go. Get up the cliff within the time limit and grab a passable number of rupees. Do that and you pass the test. If you run out of time or decide to give up halfway through your climb, you have to return all the rupees you picked up. That's life, brother. 
We've got to help you push past your limits, brother. Your physical, mental, and emotional limits. Okay, enough of messing around. It's time for the hardest of hardcore feats. The Gut Check Challenge. Oh, I almost forgot. A tiny detail, little tiny man. No train, no gain, no pay, no stay. So yeah, it's 20 rupees per attempt. You wanna summer this, brother? Let's do this thing. You've gotta collect 100 rupees as you climb. A hardcore grind man should be able to handle that no problem. Even if you reach the goal before time runs out, if you don't grab enough rupees, you fail. Don't fail, brother. Got it? Good. Then it's finally time for... Gut Check Challenge! Go! So, um, I kind of made a little bit of a, a goof doing this because I thought that if I went round the back and then climbed up that way, there'd be better rupees for you going up that path, but there are no rupees going up that path. So, um, I need to go around the other side and get rupees within the time limit and get to the top, which seems... Yeah, that's not gonna that's not gonna work out very well, especially because of how quickly this time loop is going down. We have three minutes to get a hundred rupees and reach the top, but I'm I'm wasting my time and not getting any rupees at the moment. It's a good thing I also have the two 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 out of three of the climbing gear as well. So <sighs> it's a shame I wasted all this time. I'm also gonna jump around a lot more than I really needed to because I'm wasting stamina by doing that. But, yeah, well. I mean, there's not really any anything bad that can happen by me wasting stamina, stamina at this point. If I fell off, I would have to just go around anyway. Yeah, I thought there was gonna be 20, like 20 rupees all the way up this side, but nope. Absolutely nothing. So, with less than half of the time limit remaining, I went around the other side. Oh, actually ca catch onto the wall. And I started collecting rupees with so little time left. There are 20 rupees on the, some of the platforms on this side though, which is good. And towards the very top you can see quite a few red rupees up there. If I don't run out of stamina. Oh, stamina. <laughs> and also I'm just falling off at this bit. That's fine. I need 100 rupees to pass. I have 56, 57 so far. And there are four red rupees up above us, which adds up to 60 rupees total if I got them all. Which would actually mean I could pass. So, if I get one more red rupee and reach the top within the, <laughs> the next 20 seconds, I somehow wasted most of my time and somehow still won. Goal! That was glorious. It really was. Nice going, brother. Now let's see how many rupees you scored. Looks like you got... 117 rupees. Unbelievable. You've passed our training with the grit of a true Goron, my brother. In fact, you've earned the right to call yourself... The fourth Goron blood brother. I really have earned that. As promised, you are now allowed to stand on this sacred platform of Goron manliness. A real honor, I know. I really... You're officially one of us now. A uh, true Goron brother, brother. Welcome to the family. And good news, fourth brother. That means you can do the gut check challenge all you want. As a Goron blood, blood brother, you're ready for the hard stuff. Let, just let me know when you're pumped enough to try it. I don't know about that. I did, I did the hard stuff already, in my opinion. But anyway, let's get this shrine now. 
rock still on the ground. Just had to check that quickly. And it is just a blessing, which is nice. After messing up that badly for most of that challenge. Great Frostblade. Don't have any space, so I'm going to have to throw something out. What do I throw out? I think it's a Frost Spear, maybe? I think so, because it's a Frost uh, Blade, so I might as well throw out something that's Frost anyway. As an exchange. Had to do that. But anyway, this is about the point where I realized I messed up my audio thing, so I'm gonna actually return to the past now. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, well, now that the thing is respawned, we can actually move this rock higher up. Close enough. Good. Okay. I'm still upset about what I did for most of this episode. Anyway. Wow, we can just see so far away from where we came from here. Anyway. Crazy stuff out of the way. There's a cooking pot here if I wanted to cook up some more stuff, so I can just teleport here if I want to. This is probably the ideal spot to actually get a cooking pot, so... Might just put a stamp there so you can see that there's a good place for cooking, cooking here. Uh, anyway, I think now that that's done, let's go over to this shrine here. Okay, need to change my outfit because it's cold. So cold. I also probably need to actually upgrade my armor at some point. What is my gear, like my stuff looking like? I don't actually know what I need for, um, what's it called? The Great Fairy upgrade stuff. Also, there's just cooking pots at stable, so I don't know why I need to mark that other one. But anyway, I guess now. Do I have a horse nearby? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I really should be um, going to upgrade my armor if I can. But for now, I can see something up there. I don't think I've actually seen that before. That's interesting. There's, there's just a shrine there. I don't think I've done that shrine. Can I see any other shrine? Oh, I can see other shrine. Way over there. So let's go do some shrines. Also, it'll probably be better to actually have stuff to make this go by faster. Like the snow boots for one thing. Maybe a mount for another. I don't know if I can probably ride this moose, right? Right? I must be able to. If I just sneak up on it properly. Oh, and there's a Korok over there. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Guess I'll get the Korok since I'm going this way anyway. Korok, 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 Korok. Got it. Yeah. Now, which way do I want to go first? I don't know, but there's also some horses up over here. Which might be good to do. Get one, maybe. Oh, I can't even get these pictures of these winter wings. Oh, and the horses ran away? Of course they'd ran away. I would not expect anything other than that. Winter wing butterfly. Oh, I don't have any arrows. Oh, I don't have any of those arrows. 
Well, so I'm pretty sure if I actually just shoot an insect, it will just die. So I don't know why I tried to do that. Anyway, can I please grab you? Thank you. Apparently I've already grabbed one of those before, but I just didn't take a picture of it. Because taking pictures of bugs are hard. Oh, eh, eh, no, it's too fast. Oh well. I'm about to run into a different problem though. Because over this way, at some point, I don't know when, that shrine's really far away, I just realized. Like, the other one's probably closer, but still. I want to go get this one first, I think. Of course, monsters are spawning in. Also, this looks like an interesting space here. Ow! I'm just going to keep running then. But eventually... Eventually, somewhere down here... Game? Maybe? I'm just going to run. This is a long... area. Oh, there it is, I think. There's a Lionel there. Which is going to cause some problems. Great Horned Rhinoceros. Oh, this is not going to work at all. Let me see, what is my... I can do that. Oh, but now I'm too cold. Because I'm wearing the snow boots. Oh, no. The snow boots are kind of useful. This is also a white maned Lionel, so it's fairly strong. Uh oh, hello. Just gonna walk by you, I guess. Didn't seem that hard to walk past him, I guess. I was expecting to him to actually just take me out. But nope. I just walked past him. Okay. Cool. <sighs> I'm safe. So f I'm so safe now. I, I have no idea how that worked. Anyway, let's do a shrine. Shift and lock. Okay. Seems simple enough. But also there's other chests in the shrine to get as well. Oh, this goes a long way up. Oh, that's interesting. Those platforms there are going to make this very interesting. Royal Broadsword. Of course my inventory is full. I should really do something about that. Ah, ha, ha. Flame Spear, you uh, you served me well, but goodbye. I just, you do seem to throw out weapons a lot in this game. There's really not much you can do about it. Anyway, let's start lifting this giant metal box up. As long as I can see what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. And then, once we make it to the top, I want to go past these platforms here. And once they get closer, let me drop, stop. Stop them. That one at least. And let's head down to this treasure chest quickly before it launches at me, I guess. Small key, good. Is everything in the shrine? Apparently. Okay then. And I think I'm going to go see if I can upgrade my, uh, what's it called? My storage and my armor and probably even use my spirit orbs. Well, most of them. So let's go do that.
Okay. First things first. Upgrading our armor, if I can. I don't know what materials I need. If I do need more materials, I'll need to probably go get them at some point. Just gonna grab those since they're free. Hello, great fairy. Enhance away. Okay, so... My soldier's armor I can upgrade a fair bit. Uh, what is... Oh, I've already upgraded that, but these need warm Saflina. I need to actually go find the warm Saflina. I don't have enough Lizalfo's tails for my soldier's armor. Oh well. I'll just upgrade one of those probably. Need more ice keys wing for my Desert Vo outfit. Oh, and also a little bit more Choo Choo Jelly, apparently. Barbarian Armor. Lionel Horn. Oh my goodness. Also, don't I have more from this set? I guess I don't. I can also do Ancient Caress uh, with some Ancient Parts. Which has Guardian Resist up, which is pretty good. So I'm probably going to want that towards the end of the game. Mm. Let me just upgrade what I can now. And I might also try and track things that I do need for everything else, basically. Oh, level 2. Nice. I didn't realize it was level 2. But that's good. Enhance away. I'm going to do the ancient... Ah, uh, caress. I don't know what it's called. Yes, I know about set bonuses. I haven't even actually talked about that yet, though. Oh, wow! Whoa, 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 hold on. Oh, that's ancient gear, though. I should probably wait on that before doing that. I need to get the rest of the outfit as well, still. But you just need a lot of ancient gears. To actually level it up, so... Anyway. I so should go see Hestu now, about some weapon storage. Hello, I'm here. Okay, we have 40 Korok Seeds. I didn't... Okay, we've got quite a few. 17. So I can upgrade my weapons storage a little bit, but not a lot. I still need a lot more Korok Seeds. A lot more. 25? I don't have 25. What? What? Oh, okay, I'm gonna just hold off on that then. That went up a lot. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess I won't be doing that then. I guess I'll go get another heart as well while I'm here. This is also probably a good spot for a cooking pot. There are just better places for cooking pots than just random places in the world. Well, there we go. And that's our second row started. We have now got 16 hearts. Which means that if we could fill up our second row, we would have 30 heart, piece, heart, heart containers. 
But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.